Hey guys. I need help. <laughs> I need help unboxing all this stuff. Oh my goodness. Sorry I'm a few minutes late. But I was trying to set up my workstation here in the living room and stream yard from my phone, which I've never done. So anyway, I'm here. I got my pink knife and this is the, the safer pink knife, not the switchblade version. So it'll be fun. And um, I'm sure we will be joined by Yuki and some of my other fur friends, but yeah, I've kind of accumulated a lot. Hey, Shelly. Hey, thanks for tuning in. Um, yeah, it gets real overwhelming and then I don't have anywhere to put stuff and then I don't unbox. I don't know if you guys can relate at all or if you unbox things as soon as you get it. But because I am purchasing to craft and resell, um, that's the bulk of my purchases, I order a lot. And so it can get overwhelming at times. So anyway, without further ado, because I want to try and get through all of this before Vintage Rescue Squad starts, because I know you guys are going to want to tune in for that. So let's get started. Okay. And please, don't anyone take offense to me reacting to smells and things like that, because it is not personal, and I don't know always what box I'm opening from who. I'm very sensitive. I have allergies, and I'm very sensitive. And it's because these things are so old. It's not your fault. All right, so this is from Kristen. It is from a long time ago. That should show you guys um, just how far behind I am in unboxing stuff. So I'm going to try to do this all very um efficiently. I'm going to try to break down boxes as I go, bag up recycling as I go. Hey Norma, I've got a little cart that I'm working from and that way hopefully I won't be so overwhelmed if I do everything and put stuff away and I have little bins that I'm going to drop supplies into. I'm gonna put these all out here on the floor so I can toss stuff in. And so this is from Kristen at Basky House Vintage. Excellent shop. She also has a YouTube channel. Um, so if you're not subscribed, please subscribe or follow her on Instagram. Let's see. I know there's something very special in here that her daughter Lily made that I purchased for my own collection. So I'm super excited to finally see that. All right, let's see. I mean, it feels like Christmas, right? Like I've got the tree and I got all these packages. I will tell you that I had my friend, AKA assistant, bring in most of these packages today. I've been holding them at the mail facility because I didn't want to be overwhelmed. So I went and got the rest out of my receiving closet. And I decided let's just make a party out of it and do it together. That way I can get through it because, you know, I need a lot of these supplies to craft for my upcoming market and my upcoming sales. All right, so we've got lots of good recycling in here. Putting it all in a bag. Uh-oh. Yuki's having fun checking out everything that's going on. All right, let's break down these boxes as we go. Try to do it carefully because we don't want any injuries. Yuki, why don't you come sit over here so the viewers can see you. They also think it's dinner time because of the time change. They get fed at 5 o'clock, and so they're all gathering around me. All right, so this is the cute little thing that Kristen Star Lily made, and I'm so excited to have it in my collection. 
Look how cute. It's a cute little hand puppet, a vintage hand puppet. It is Rushton, you guys. I don't think they mentioned that before. This is a Rushton girl. And Lily fixed her up. She needed some help because she had, um, she needed some repainting. So Lily fixed her all up and I'm going to sit her on top of a cone. So that way she can be displayed very nicely. Oh gosh, Yuki is back here behind the camera. Okay, Yuki, why don't you come over here? Yuki, Yuki, come on, come here and get in your bed. Then you can sit next to me. Okay, come on. Come get in your bed, and that way you can watch. Okay, come on, get in your bed. Yeah, he's not really, he's like, no, it's much more fun on the table. Okay, well, the table is going to be where mommy needs to do her work. Okay, 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 calm down, calm down. I guess we should turn the camera so you can be part of, it, of our show, too. I know you guys love Yuki, and I'm sure he'll want to help me. Right, Yuki? All right, let's see what else we have. Hey, Robin. Hey, Debbie. Hey, guys. Okay, so we're doing a mass unboxing for anyone who's just joining. I don't even remember what I bought. Let's see if I can tilt the camera a little bit down. All right. Ooh, Halloween. Halloween stuff for next year. I got these vintage, or I guess they're vintage, I don't know for sure. He's helping. These are going to be in my Halloween decorations next year. I'm going to make sure that I do take the time to decorate next year. And they light up. Look how fun. Okay, so I'm going to put this in a bin down there. Put the bubble wrap in here because we can reuse that. Hi. <laughs> you never know what he might do to me. He's so sassy. Hey, Carrie. Thanks for tuning in. Now, when it's time for the Nadrescu Squad, you guys can head on over there. If I don't get through all of this, you guys can finish watching it on the replay. All right, this camera angle I have is funky because I want Yuki in. Okay, thank you for your help, Yuki. All right, let's go on to the next one. Oh, Monyo is also helping me from the other side. So we have. Ponyo over there in the lighted area. Can you see him? And then we have Miss Pika on top of the tower. So they are all stalking me because they think it's dinner time because of the time change, right? All right, so. Hmm. Okay, so this is. Okay, so my stuff. It could be from live sales, it could be from eBay, it could be from Macari, it could be from Etsy. I shop all around to get my supplies. Isn't he pretty? Thank you, Nancy. Oh, look, it's a little Halloween card. It says, thinking of you on Halloween. Oh, no, 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 no. And then it says, thinking of you on Halloween is all the treat I need. Isn't that sweet? You like it, Yuki? Okay, one of Yuki's nail caps has come off, so that means he can be dangerous. And I have to be careful when I'm opening things because I have a Christmas present in here for somebody and I don't want them to see it. I shopped early. Right? Oh, yes. Mine were very grumpy the first day of the time change. And I'm just like, what is going on? I didn't feel like I slept late or anything, but then I realized they don't know. They don't know the difference yet. Okay. 
Let's see what these things are. Oh my gosh. I think it's going to be some fun stuff. All right, I should bring this box down. I don't know. I'm about to ship. Yeah, I'm going to break it down. I'm going to reuse all of these boxes. Oops. Thank you. Thank you for your such a big helper. Okay, now I have all these little paper towel things. Let's see what's inside. <gasps> Look, it's a snail. Where is Susie? If you guys watched the vintage dish today, you would know that Susie collected snails as a young person. So here's a tiny little snail. I guess this is a little snail as a pet going to be a pet for my dollies. <laughs> you were grumpy too, yeah. I was too. Oh my goodness. I don't even remember who I bought all these from, but we've got all kinds of fun pets. Look, Yuki, it's your twin. It's your vintage twin. All kinds of fun pets to pair up with my dollies. Ooh, another little snail. Look how cute. Oh my gosh. Aw, it's a cute little elephant, a circus elephant. Trunk up for good luck. I wonder who this is from or if I randomly ordered it because the title was like a business name that I don't recognize. Something about education. Look at these cute little bun buns. Cute little bunnies. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and hanging out with me. Here's a cute little cow. Look at this little cow, so cute. Oh my gosh, when I get new things like this, I get even more inspired to craft. I guess they're all in pairs. Here's two little squirrels. These will be good for some fall dolls if I can. Well, I will get some fall dolls in because I'm doing the in-person market. So I won't have to worry about shipping them in time. And here's another snail. Another cute little snail. All right, well, two boxes down, 25,000 more to go. I may not even get through all these in one video honestly this is a lot but let's see and i say that because i'm gonna lose daylight and then the video won't be as desirable oh this is one of those funky boxes not only opens strangely, but it's full of peanuts. And you guys know how much I don't love packing peanuts, but I do not judge anyone for using them, so do not get offended if this was your package to me. I just don't prefer them. Because they're messy. You know, it's kind of like how some people don't like glitter, I guess. Wow, that's a lot. That's a lot of packing peanuts. Okay. I vaguely remember this. I'm going to need more garbage bags. <laughs> I vaguely remember buying this. It's a music box. I vaguely remember buying this from someone. Did I buy it from Julie? I don't remember. But it's really cute, and I thought I would reimagine it. So, it's a cute little box. Oh, there's treasures inside. It's from Krista, Retro Nelly Vintage. Thanks for the purchase, Amy. Hope you love the jewelry box. Or if it's a gift, hope the recipient loves it. Oh, I see. Now I know why I bought this, because the doll snaps on the lid. Look. i got to get this light better. So the dolly snaps on the lid. So let's try it. That's why I bought this. 
this and then I was gonna embellish it further and then reimagine it and offer it up. How cute is that? Oh, this will be such a fun project. Yuki, you really shouldn't be sitting over there on the other side of the camera. That will be so fun. Alright, this box is not worth breaking down. It's going into recycling. Yeah, oh yeah, Yuki loves packing peanuts and they're not really safe for cats to mess with, so. I try to keep them away from him because I don't want him eating them. This is cutely wrapped. Oh, it's from Liz at Atomic Cellar. That's why there's so many kitty cats on it. Okay. Super cute. Look, Yuki, you're in the way. Super cute wrapping. Little treasures inside. Excuse me. Yuki, no, no, don't do that. Cute little tissue paper. Let's see it. What did I buy from Liz? Hey, excuse me. This is a great box that can be reused. Yuki's trying to help me unwrap the item. I don't want them anywhere near this knife. Oh, Robin, good point. I see what you're saying. I'm itching to do some mermaids. I've, I've got a pose doll that's, her legs are very much in a pose, kind of, in a way that I could easily transform her into a mermaid. So, yeah. Hi, Carrie. Hey, Jenny. Hi. Thanks for tuning in. Hey, Stacy. Thank you. Sarah got this shirt for me for my birthday. Oh, yes, I remember ordering these little cute vintage guys from Halloween dolls. I'm going to have Halloween dolls in my store all year round. Lighting is so weird out here. Oh, well, whatever. So these are going to be really fun to pair with my dolls. Look at this. These are made in Hong Kong. It's a cute little flocked ghost. I've got lots of witches already in the works because I was supposed to do that. Uh, vintage market last month and then I didn't feel well so I have so many witches that are ready and you guys now now will be the time to buy them when they're kind of off season because I'm going to be dropping a lot of them in my online shop and you should snag them now look at this spider I'll put the spider on a leash most likely It's hot. Yeah. It is hot. Halloween's hot all year round. And this little black kitty. So I'm going to put all of these in my little pet bin. Bin. Pet bin. And I'm going to put the puppet down here. And that's the box with lots of stuff. Big stuff in it. Let's see what kind of surprises Liz included here. So cute, aren't they? So cute little pom pom. This will be good for my dollies. And some cute little stickers. Stickers are always fun. So we will put those aside. I've got a multi level cart here that I'm working off of, so it's very handy. Alright, this I'm going to be very excited to decorate with for next Halloween because this is my Christmas wreath from Enamor Amy. And if you guys are not following Enamor Amy on Instagram, you should. She has done a couple guest appearances on our Wiki Good Vintage here on YouTube recently. She is an amazing crafter and she curates some of the kitschiest 
vintage around. I just love it. Love, love, love it. Look at all of these little accents. So cute. Can't wait to include that. That will hang in my studio next Halloween. Yuki's over there trying to go into a small box. I don't think you can fit in there. Cute little card. Happy Halloween. It's just me. Hoping your Halloween is just perfect. Thanks so much, Amy Vladimir. Love, love this. And her card is so cute. She makes these handmade little critters. She designs and makes them, sews them, everything. Amazing. That is one talent I do not have is the sewing machine. So I wish I did. All right, let's break this box down. I have a feeling that I'm going to have to do several unboxing videos over the next few days to get through all of this because I don't want to do a super long one. Alright. Let's see. What's next? Oh, another one of those boxes that's kind of crazy. This one is from Marcy, the Vintage Bulldog. When I say it's kind of crazy, I mean it's one of those that you can't quite figure out how to open it. I think it's one of these that opens up from the top. Let's see what we have. Okay. There we go. Dollies to reimagine. So, some of you guys know I have started reimagining rag dolls, soft body type dolls. Like these guys over here, they're waiting to be reimagined, these twins. Um, well, and here I've got smaller versions that I'm going to reimagine. So we've got this little girl here. Isn't she cute? I love her hair color. Like she doesn't really need new hair. She looks like an orange creamsicle. But her neck, she needs a just yeah, she needs some love. But we can help her out. We can help her out. So we have her. And then we have her. And she will probably get new hair, yarn hair, fun colored yarn hair. Yep, they're going to get reimagined. So those little girls are going to be a lot of fun to work with. And Yuki's down there hanging out in my bins. Oh, I just got sawdust. I guess they're going to need some stitching, apparently, too. Because I just noticed some sawdust spilled out. Hmm, vintage sawdust, my favorite. Hopefully I won't inhale that. Alright, um, this is what I'll do. I'm going to take this envelope and put it down in my workspace to cover up the sawdust. And that way I won't breathe it in. Okay. Alright. I've got lots of little stuff. I should probably go through the little stuff. It's not so intimidating. And less packing material. I can get through it quicker. What time is it? Oh, we got plenty of time. Four or five. This is very strange, but I have a whole lot of um, cell phones on my plan for my family. And yeah, Sprint merged with T-Mobile. They gave me all of these SIM cards. I mean, 
I don't know why I won't need all these SIM cards because some of the phones just got upgraded, so I don't know. They already came with two mobile SIM cards, so I'm not sure what that's all about. But I cheated and I opened it early because I was looking for my eyelashes I ordered and, you know, kind of felt like it could be eyelashes in there, but it wasn't. All right, so let's see. This one, the mailing list covered up on it because my mail facility puts these labels, these annoying labels on top of everything. It's the way they sort stuff. Hi, Chicago lady. What is your name? I saw you earlier on the vintage dish. Let me know your name so I can try and remember it and get to know you. All right, these are adorable. You guys are going to freak out at how cute these are. Look. Aren't those sweet little elves? Oh, my goodness. Look how cute. They're still in the package, but obviously we have to open them up to make them into dolls. So I guess I'll start a doll headband right there. Hi, Cece. And here are some little teeny tinies. These will be so cute to put on chenille bodies or on tiny little spun cotton cones that I have. But look at the little frosties. Aren't those sweet? We've got Santas and angels and elves. This was an eBay find. So I've got two of those. And let's see what's in here. Carol. CC is Carol. Okay. Nice to meet you, Carol. And so I've got two of these. Yay! More elves. All right, yeah, let's see the little boxes. The big boxes, there's just too much packing material to deal with, and it, it takes up too much time. All right, let's see what this is. I know, aren't those dolls have doll heads exciting. When I get new doll heads, I feel so inspired to make new dolls. Oh, these are going to be good. Oh, you guys are going to freak out on this one. Try not to freak out. It's a reindeer head and it is glittered white glitter. It's white glitter and it is amazing. It used to be a light cover, apparently. So this is going to be really, really cute. So put him down in my doll head bin, and then an adorable elf. It looks just similar to the other elves that we just saw. But he's out of the package. Isn't he cute? Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. There's Ponyo back there. I guess he's the king of the packages on the, on the Afghan mouth. All right, let's see what else we have. This looks like another eBay purchase. Hi, Denise. How did I get into doll making? Okay, well. I loved dolls growing up. I was never really into Barbies. That was, people, some people would buy me Barbies, but they weren't really my thing. I loved strawberry shortcake dolls. Those are my favorite. And I liked dolls like Glamour Gals. Do you guys remember those? Those were so pretty. I thought they were so cute. And I also liked the Littles. They had a, um, this is another one of those tricky to open boxes. They had a line of toys called the Littles. You know, they had the TV series where they had little tails and stuff. But these were like little tiny dolls. They were almost like little kittles. But they were, you know, like the next generation of little kittles. And I loved them. They came with little furniture. And I love Rainbow Bright. Anyway. Don't get upset, guys, but I am taking these heads 
I'm taking their heads. Pretend like they don't have bodies because these make really great dolls. Honestly, their heads are so cute. And then I give the clothing and the bodies. Well, I have been I'm giving some of the bodies away to someone that needs bodies, but some of them I keep because one day I'm probably going to sculpt my own heads again and then I can repurpose the bodies. But you had little kittles? Oh, yeah. They were before my time, but I played with them when I had relatives that were older than me that had them. So anyway, I loved dolls growing up. And then when I graduated high school, that's when all of the, the like that next generation of Disney came out with Little Mermaid and Aladdin and all of those movies. So at that point, I started collecting Disney dolls, like the Barbie style, Tyco and all the Little Mermaid dolls. And then I started collecting Jasmine dolls. So I started collecting Disney dolls. But I was very particular about their faces and their eyes especially. Hi, Sammy. Thank you so much for tuning in. And, oh, look, guys. I have the black cat for this little guy, so he's going to be part of my Halloween decor next year. So he is something to keep, something I'm keeping. So I put that in my keep bucket. Anyway, I'm very particular about the faces, so if I didn't think their eyes were good enough, I would repaint the eyes on these Disney dolls that I started collecting. So it was kind of the beginning of it. And that was when I was like 18, 19, 20s. Then when my grandmother passed away, my grandmama, my dad's mother, who really facilitated my creativity growing up, um, she and my grandfather were like second parents to me and they were like everything to me. So they passed away within weeks of each other. And it was very devastating. I mean, my grandfather, I had been expecting, he almost passed away a few years earlier, but we got extra time with him. So I was prepared for that one. But my grandmother's was very unexpected. So, I inherited a lot of her crafting supplies and vintage fabrics, and I wanted to find something to do to honor her while using the vintage fabrics, and also help to work through the grieving process. You guys, don't break, don't break Daddy's pictures. He's not going to be happy about that. So. I first tried to take a quilting class because I thought, well, I'll make a quilt. I mean, that's an overhanger fabric. It's cool. I didn't realize how much math was involved in quilting, and I couldn't, I couldn't hang with that. Oh my gosh, these are adorable! They're these cute little red-haired angels, and they have freckles. Look how cute! Freckles and eyelashes, you guys. Sorry, the lighting is so weird. So I've got three of these. Yay! These are going to be so cute. So I had to kind of abandon the quilting idea. That wasn't going to work for me. I made maybe one square of quilting and I was just like, mm, can't do much. So somehow... I got the idea to make dolls, and at the time, this was like around 2007, there was a big community of polymer clay artists, oop dolls. So I started sculpting, I started sculpting my own dolls and using my grandmother's fabrics to dress them. And I did doll shows, like really big doll shows, the doll in Orlando. And I got published in Dolls Magazine back when it existed. And I made one of a kind from scratch, sculpted dolls. But eventually, life always kind of takes over. And I'm the kind of artist that doesn't work well under stress, stress and exhaustion since I had to have day jobs. And I mean, I worked 14-hour days 
and trying to make ends meet out here in California. So it got to the point where I just couldn't do it anymore because I just didn't have the time or the energy. So, but I did a whole thing, like I did doll workshops back then. I created a mold of one of my mermaid dolls and it was very creative. It was a crude mold. I, it, it's, a little, it's a lot, but like you really need a um, vacuum chamber so that you don't have little air bubbles and all this stuff. It was just way too much, but it was fine for kids. And so I had it for kids and they would get to choose their wigs that I would make and they would get to paint their doll and design their doll. And it was a lot of fun. So you guys are gonna love her. Okay. She's kind of primed to be a mermaid too because she has a bust. And then we just add the tail, right? So look how pretty she is. The lighting is so crazy, but hopefully you can see her. Don't see her boobies. She's got hands. So we'll put her down here in the doll head. So I didn't do much um, in the way of creating for many years because I was just burned out and overworked. Hey, Marsha. Hey, Andrea. Oh my gosh, this girl I am in love with. Look at her and look at her braids. Oh my gosh, she is so pretty. And this is one of the Lee Wards, vintage Lee Wards, so that you guys know I do not always behead pose dolls. They do legit come in packages. <laughs> They're called Lovely Lady Heads from Lee Wards, and it was only $1.69 originally. So there is that. And then this one with little white lips. So um, when I when I met my husband and started working with him and his fans, I got frustrated over the lack of merchandise that's available for these music artists. So I started making some fun stuff for the fans and. Um, since my husband is known for his mustache, I started putting the mustache on stuff like this as an example. The pumpkin, the, the Chuck Negron pumpkin. So I added eyes and the mustache and I started making fun stuff like that for his fans, which then led me to the Chuck Negron elf. I don't know why I have it out there. But I made a, my own version of a pose doll, kind of an elf on a shelf. But it wasn't initially inspired by my husband. I did it as um, a party activity for one of my nanny kids because I was a nanny for over 20 years. This is a Rushton guy, by the way. I don't even remember buying him. It's so strange because I don't know what I would do with him with a football helmet on. I don't know. We'll see what I come up with. But he's Rushton. Um... So one of my nanny kids wanted to have an elf on the shelf birthday party. So I came up with a workshop for, he wants to be back on camera, for her to have at her party where all the kids could make elf on the shelf dolls. So I created that workshop and that's how I designed my pose doll. So then years later, I converted it into a Chuck Negron elf, which was really fun. So that was around 2017. Then um, I decided to finally retire from being a nanny and take care of my husband's business full time. And then allow myself the time and energy to craft again. So right before the pandemic, you guys are going to die over these. Look. How cute. They're, they're masks, which I'm, I'm just starting to kind of learn how to use, but you take a styrofoam ball to put behind them and that, you know, makes them solid. So I'm going to experiment with these for Easter to make my little Easter bunnies. I got a stack of them. So super excited for these guys. Um, 
so I found these crafting studios that were local. One of them dealt with um, paper arts and the other was fiber. So I'd started at the fiber arts place, I mean, sorry, the paper arts place, and then she introduced me to Martina at my creative outlet for fiber arts. And I started going and, you know, I wanted to learn some new crafts and some new skills and techniques. And I started doing mixed media in February of 2020, mixed media panels. And then the pandemic hit. And I was super bummed because, you know, I just started crafting again and just started networking with people. So it was a real drag. But my husband and I could no longer work because he's a touring musician. And here we have the Sad Eyed Susie. This is like the craft doll version of Sad Eyed Susie. So I will be using her head to make a fun little dolly. So I guess it was probably around August. Martina at my creative outlet, she was doing virtual crafting. Um, hey, Becky. Yes, Yuki always steals the show and that's okay. I let him have the spotlight. Same thing I do with my husband. I will step aside. I will step aside for the males in this house, and sometimes even for people like my female. Um, so she was doing a cone doll virtual workshop on Zoom, and that was around August of 2020. So I thought, yeah, okay, this I can't show because it is part of a Christmas gift for someone. So I thought that looks fun. So I took this cone doll tutorial with her and I just got super inspired. I just because already I loved making dolls, right? And I'll be honest, I did not enjoy the sculpting portion of doll making. Don't like working with polymer. Hated it, honestly, I hated it. But I loved the costuming and the designing and the hair and the painting. So doing cone dolls with spun cotton heads was a no-brainer, you know, just put everything together and design it, and it was so fun. So, I thought, well, I'm going to have to order more supplies, because the kit that I bought from her, I could make three dolls. I want to make more dolls, but it's going to take time for stuff to get ordered, so I decided, I'm so inspired, I just got to start making stuff now. So I looked around my house, and I found some handmade paper that was kind of that thick, kind of fibrous paper. And I made my own cones out of that. These were the small dolls. And I had wooden beads that I used for the heads. And I painted faces on them. Because the ones she had were pre-printed faces. So I painted the faces. And I just went to town and started making these little cone dolls with the little, wood, with the little wooden heads. And so I started doing that in August, September of 2020. And... My husband's fans really love them, and they were kind of my customer base at the time. I had started an Etsy shop previous to this. This is another Christmas gift I cannot show. Okay, good. At least I got the Christmas gifts out of the way, so I don't have to worry about accidentally opening them. Um, so, yeah, I had opened an Etsy shop, and I was doing... Christmas ornaments with vintage magazine clippings. So then I started putting my dolls in my Etsy shop, and sometimes I got some new customers that I didn't know, but mostly it was the customer base we had through my husband. And they started my business off. So I had been teetering around with um, Instagram for a while, but never really could figure out how to master it. I was a Facebook person. And you guys are going to love this one. It is Amigo Wicked Witch from the Wizard of Oz. And I'm going to use this to make a doll. I'm so excited. I love the Amigo Wizard of Oz dolls, by the way. And I have the Wicked Witch. Um, so anyway, I go on Instagram and somehow... I happened upon live sales and because 
my husband and I were in quarantine here. You know, we're, we're by ourselves. I found company in the live sales. So I started watching them while I was crafting and making my little cone dolls. And I got to thinking, okay, look how cute this is. I have a jungle theme. You know, right now it's fall on my own, but in the summer it's the jungle. So I got this cute little bucket as an accent piece for my summer jungle. Um, so I started thinking, how can I tap into this community of live sellers? Like, I know my cone dolls are retro style already, but how can I really tap into this, into this market? So I thought, well, maybe if I used vintage doll heads on my cone dolls instead of the little wooden beads, maybe they would appeal to all of you because you like to collect those kind of kitschy things. And so that's how it happened. I had all this time and energy. My husband and I were out of work, so I needed to create a revenue stream that I could have from my home. Say, my husband has lung disease, so I couldn't be going out. He couldn't be going out. Um, so that's how it happened. And I've just developed and collaborated and you know, come up with new ideas. You know, I started out with covering them with felt and then I started covering them with some vintage fabrics and then I found the glitter material that I love and I just keep developing them and then I started pairing them with little vintage, um, you know, little animals like the ones that you saw that I got. So they have little pets and I just keep getting more and more inspired and that's how it all happened. So. It all kind of started with my grandmama. So originally I had named my business Betty Dolores Designs. That was back in uh, 2007 when I first started sculpting. But I had already renamed my business Jamie's Rock and Pop Shop when I started making the vintage magazine clipping ornaments. Oh, you're welcome, Denise. Thank you so much for for being here and, and hearing it. Okay, look at these little, little littles. I'm starting to lose good lighting. But aren't these cute? So I'll be giving them new hair. And I love giving dolls doll hair. It's something else I am passionate about. All right, well, let's see how many more I can get through before we're completely in the dark. Oh, the tiger tin was a gift? Stacy. But I bought it. Well, thank you, girl. I didn't realize that was a gift. I, as you see, I buy so much that I don't remember. I remember seeing it and liking it. So I just I bought it. Well, thank you. That is so sweet of you, Stacy. I love it. I love it so much. Oh, wait a second. The note was in there. Someone bought it for me. Oh, yeah, it got sold at the sale, All right. Okay, well, you're going to have to tell me who it was from because... I somehow missed the note. So please tell me who it was from so I can thank them because I missed the note. I'm so sorry. All this packing stuff gets me overwhelmed. And I was busy telling my story. Wish upon a whisper. Oh, it's from Nicole. That's so sweet. Okay. Well, I will be sure to thank Nicole because I just love it. Those little tigers are fresh. Yes. Yeah, see, I almost missed this little card. Well, yay, because I did want that. But that was a long time ago. Right? Like a month or two ago. I don't know about you guys, but my memory is not as sharp as it used to be. That whole over 40 thing is no joke. Okay. This is a little ET head that I bought from Kitchy Cat Vintage, and it looks like it's a plaster of Paris that someone hand painted. But I'm gonna make him into a cone doll. Yes, I am. So I'm super excited about that project. 
because I do love ET. I grew up with ET and I love ET. All right, your face is not on the camera there. That's better. Yes, Yuki is a hammy. All right, well, I feel like I'm making a dent at least. A dent. You know, I'm not going to get through all of it. We've got 20 minutes till then address the squad. So let's see what I can get through. I can't believe I've stuffed all of this packing material into one garbage bag still. ET is the absolute best. I mean, that movie was so magical and I was just love it. Okay, here's a note I'm not going to overlook. I also came across this guy you may want. I'll look for more when I go back in two weeks. Molly. Molly. Molly Campbell. Okay, thank you, Molly. Let's see what Molly Campbell is. Oh, yeah, I remember. Okay, this is the little guy she's talking about that she just came across. If you don't hurt me, please. Ow! Oh, this is adorable. He is going to look so precious in the arms of a little dolly. I'm going to put him in the little pet section. And I got a cute little clip that I will reuse. And then she sent me these items to um, give some love to, you know, to reimagine like this little guy. He's, he's fallen apart, so we will fix him up. And then you guys, some of you guys may have seen that I had one of these that I reimagined already. So Molly sent me one that she got at an estate sale that I'm going to give some love to and then put him back out for adoption. So I'm going to put him in a different pile. And let's see. Just packing the tool. Yep, yep, yep. All right. More fun projects. Let's see if we can at least get through the little boxes before. I've been addressed at least one star. So let's see what that can Robin, have you ever shown your craft room organization like a tour? Well, I did show some of my craft room when I was first putting it together, but it's not um, tour worthy right now. I have been filming footage of the whole transformation of my um, clutter, the clutter that developed in my stepdaughter's room. She's in college. I was using it as a craft room, and then I filmed all of that madness, and the madness that was my junk room, and the transformation of it becoming my craft room. But I have not finished that footage because I have yet to have the craft room completed and completely organized so that I can then show the final product, right? So that will happen. It will happen. It's just not yet. I just have so many crafting materials. I really need a second dream box, to be honest, but that's not practical and it's not going to happen. I got to get through um, this holiday madness, and then I will make a bunch of dolls, so a bunch of the supplies will be used. And I still have to put my wallpaper up in there. So I'm, I'm hoping that when I take time off, in December, I think I'm closing my shop December 14th, after December 14th. Can't wait to see how you put these into your wonderful creations. And it's Lisa, Lisa Scott. Got me these next items. Anyway, um, because I would love to film it when I have it decorated for Christmas. So that's my goal. Once I get through all the sales, then get my craft room in immaculate order and then film the final footage for that. And then I'm going to drop it here on YouTube. Um, and hopefully I'll be monetized by then because you guys, if you're watching this on the replay later, you're going to be helping me get that last 300 hours in. And I am so grateful. So let's see what Becky had to say. Okay. You want to tell after 
Aww, your daughter started watching the old videos after seeing my Rainbow Bright video. That's so sweet. I love that. Thank you, Becky. Thank you for sharing that. Yes, yeah, Steve, he is truly precious. Ooh, these are really cool. Okay, I gotta be very careful opening them. They're balloons, but they're not just any balloons. They're super magical, special balloons. Never seen any balloons like these. Look at these. Oh my gosh, you guys, aren't these amazing? I think Yuki likes them too. They're on a clip. Okay, this little guy needs a little glue so that he stays up where he's supposed to be. But look how pretty these are. Oh my gosh. Okay, I cannot wait to figure out who's going to be holding those balloons. Oh my gosh, Stacey, okay, well, I have to get my um, inventory ready to hand off to my assistant in the morning for shipping, so I will tune in to your sale for a bit while I'm working on that. Thank you so much for tuning in and hanging out. So I got two sets of these balloons. I'm so excited, so I don't have to be so crazy about what I'm going to do with them because I get a second chance. All right. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I can't believe that I have 42 viewers and prompt to unboxing. I hope you have a great sale, Stacy. You guys should jump on over there. Although I know you also have been addressed to spot. Okay. So I ordered this crafting lot, not for the doll heads, because I could kind of care less about the doll heads. I have 10 million of these doll heads. I did it for the bump chenille, the vintage bump chenille. Yeah, Yuki, he likes it too. You can't have this, no. These are amazing to make Halloween um, vintage chenille critters. And last year I did little pet, vintage chenille pets with pictures of your pet. You know, like little faces cut out. And so when I get black cats, the black is amazing for that. So, where can I put this for you? You won't get it. I guess I should keep it in the box. And then the, this is useful. And these are really good for my small dolls for their arms. So that's good. But yeah, I bought this craft lot mainly for that bump chenille. All right, you cannot have the bump chenille. Okay. I'm sorry. We don't know where it's been. I don't want it in your mouth. Okay, there's a knife. I don't want you to have a knife. Excuse me, Mr. He's so big. Oh, okay. Alright. What time is it? Alright, we've got 12 minutes. Ow! Don't bite me! Ow! You're such a brat. You're so sassy. what I get for taking the chenille away. He loves to bully me. All right. Yuki is a year and a half. I got him. Oh, there's beads in here. I got him um, when I lost my 18-year-old Kabuki. We lost Kabuki at the very beginning of the pandemic unexpectedly. He just fell ill. And it was super devastating because I've had him for 18, 18 years. So he was like my soulmate cat. And it was him and his brother Tiki who I lost at age 14 to cancer. So I still had Kabuki. And then when I lost Tiki, I got Ponyo to um, give Kabuki a new friend. And they bonded, and it was amazing. Oh, these are the loose light candles. Okay, no, 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 you stay out of there. Anyway, it took me a while to... And no, these are not for sale. These are... 
my very first Lucite candles, and I got them from Cave of the Hidden Treasures, and Yuki has just stolen those amazing balloons. No. Mm -mm. You stay out of there. Stay out of there. Leave those alone. All right, so those are my first Lucite candles. Cave of Hidden Treasures for Russell that I just did a live with on Saturday, but we had so many tech issues that we had to keep shutting down and Instagram will not let me post the video. So, so disappointing. But we had so much fun. So maybe we'll do it again. But yeah, my first loose light candle. So that being said, I need candle holders for my loose light candles. I would love to have some that are kind of um, versatile so that I can display these for fall on my Thanksgiving table and also for Christmas. No. No, you cannot have these. So if anybody is a seller and you have some candle holders that would be nice for these, I would love to have them. You can no. Because I don't have any way to display them yet. Okay. We're getting down to the last bit of the smalls at least. I don't even want to talk to you guys about this. This is going to have to be probably a video all on its own. Okay. Out, out, out. People can't see. This box is pretty much bigger than me. Yuki! No. He's biting my camera. Okay. This box, I think it has two doll lamps in it. Look how big it is. Okay. I'm going to have to save that and do a whole separate video unboxing that. I think. It deserves its own video. Um, so that will be for another day. But yeah, they're dolls that are lamps, and I'm going to reimagine them to make them amazing. Hey, Jack. Yeah, you remember Kabuki. And you have a 17-year-old Becky. That's awesome. Aw, oh, thank you, Ruthie, for loving my kitties. Hi, Amy. You're watching from Nashville as you crochet afghans for Christmas presents. I love that. My, I have the afghan my grandmama made for me when I was a little girl. And I usually put it on the back of my couch and, oh, this is interesting. Well, okay. I got these on Facebook Marketplace or somewhere like that. Excuse me, mister. Santa has been um, in the self-tanner, apparently. He, ow, you little brat! You see how sassy he is? I have cat hair all over my lip gloss. You don't bite mommy. That is not nice. You're not the boss here. Ow! Oh my gosh. Okay. I thought he made me bleed, but it's my lipstick. All right. Do you still love my cats, Ruthie? I'm going to get the water bottle if you don't stop. Because I got new water bottles. And um, I'm not afraid to use them. Okay. So yeah, Santa has been in the self tanner. So kind of shocking. It's a whole flipping bag of Santas who have been in the self tanner. So okay, enough of you. You need to settle down. You need to settle down, or you're getting the water bottle squirted in your face. All right, we'll put the Santas aside and move along. Got a few more smalls in the bed. Probably call it a night so you guys can head on over to the address for squad. Yours do the same. Okay. Tiki is just so bossy. My cat Tiki was like that too. He was super in charge. And this is from Julie from Parents Treasure. Thank you, sweet Amy. Please enjoy this beautiful necklace. I appreciate your friendship. Have a blessed day. That's so sweet. Okay, so I bought this necklace from Julie because I wanted to support her when she was having her live sale. And I thought it would be a beautiful necklace for me to wear when I dress up as Elsa from Frozen. You're cross-stitching while you're watching. That's awesome because that's what I do when I watch lives is I'm crafting. So I love that. We need to have 
a craft along, you guys. I want to get to that point on my channel. Like, I've got my weekly sale. I've got my vintage dish. And then my last piece. Okay, you can have this. How about that? You can have this ribbon. Will that make you happy? My last piece of my YouTube channel is doing the crafting videos. And I want to invite people on to craft with me. And so I'm working towards that. Anyway, so I thought this necklace would be perfect as a necklace to wear with my Elsa costume. It's really pretty, and I'm sure you're just going to try to go for it. But doesn't this look perfect for Elsa? Try it on. No. It does match my outfit, too. I have to figure out where the fasteners are. There. Yeah, it's pretty. I think this is my last small. And this is the air freshener doll that I take the head off because this is one of my favorite heads. I think it's more 90s, but it's like still super sweet and kitschy. So let's see if we can get her showing up well. So yeah. What time is it? Yeah, we've got four minutes. So I think this is going to be a wrap for today, you guys. Let me get my camera turned back. Um, thank you guys for hanging out with me for this fun unboxing. I still have more to do, so maybe I'll pop back on tomorrow and do some more with you guys because um, it does help motivate me to get it done, and I don't feel as overwhelmed because I'm hanging out and talking. If you guys had fun, give me a like on my video. I would greatly appreciate that. And good night, Marsha. Good night, Jag, Ruthie, Robin. Thank you all so much for coming. Um, subscribe to my channel. Turn on your notifications. So if I do a pop-up like this, you'll get notified. And I will see you guys next time. Have a wonderful evening. Bye.